Okay, so the code that I'm getting on this um, jack, on the sensor, auto sensor, it's referring to the bank 2. And um, for those of you who don't know, the bank, bank 1 sensors are on, on to the side of the bulkhead. And the bank 2 sensors are next to, or front, in front of the engine. Um, and you can see the two plugs in there. So this is one of the sensors there, and that's that's the plug for the other sensor. And uh, basically, they are located just under the filter cover here. So I'm going to be removing the cover here. Um, to get access to it <clears throat> and check it check properly the resistance of the sensor um, and to remove this basically um, you have to remove this cover first it's got three screws on um, nothing too difficult just undo them remove the oil cap and pull it out and refit the oil cap so nothing goes in there And next will be to remove this, and to remove this we need to loosen up these two 8mm mil, eight millimeter bolts. These are actually a 7mm, not 8. So let's go ahead and... Okay, once you got those off, just remove the clamp, and then you need to remove this other clamp from here and basically this clamp um, what you need to do is get your screwdriver in there and just lift it up and as you do it will it will go back like that like so and if you see here it's got a little two notches which lock into the thin part of this clamp so if you line it up with the thin part you can take it out so once you got the clamp off um, to remove the two intake hoses here um, we need to remove the air filter cover for that undo the seven screws here and lift the cover up and take it out and put it to one side take the filter off and remove these two screws here and then push this push this bit down and pull, pull the this thing up and there you go so the sensor is down there um, we can also go ahead and remove this panel here. This is only a few um, eight millimeter bolts. Um, once you get them off, just remove this, put it to one side, and then you can pull this to give you a better view. better view and access of the sensor as you can see that's the wire for the sensor I'm trying to remove um, there it is
Now, I've unplugged this sensor. Earlier on, I unplugged it from the sockets there. So that's that's one of them, and that's the plug for the one I up took off. Now, before I remove the sensor, um, because the code has been generated is to be with a heater, I will be checking the resistance of the heater. And in this case, um, the two black wires are the um, the heaters, um, the heater wires. So I'm going to check the resistance of them um, to make sure this is the sensor is either working well or faulty okay so I just set my meter to 20k here and I'm going to change check the resistance Now that should normally go to zero, um, but I'm getting a, a reading. Which kind of tells me that something might be wrong with this sensor. an old sensor here and I'm gonna check the resistance of this sensor just to, in this case uh, the two white wires are the heater element and basically This is a good working sensor and as you can see it's gone to zero as I test the resistance between the two white wires here. This one and this one. Oops. Just drop the good sensor. Not a good idea. Okay, after checking the resistance of the heater element on the sensor, I'm gonna go ahead and um, replace it with that other one that I've got, which is a used one, but um, it was a good working sensor. Um, so you just need to wiggle your tool in there. You will need an open-ended I've got it in there already. Okay, so we're just gonna try to remove the um, sensor now. Okay, got the new sensor in um, and plugged back in.
now it's just a matter of refitting everything back and checking the car again for any codes. And that's it, that's uh, the oxygen sensor replaced, um, now we're gonna test drive it, make sure there's no more fault codes and hopefully that should be the end of that. Thanks for watching.